Hello, my name is Sylvie and I am part of Data School Cohort 16. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to build a marginal histogram in Tableau. A marginal histogram allows you to visualise the same data on two different aggregation levels, making it easy to compare and see the distribution of your data in one visualisation. Let's see how we go about it. For this exercise, I have taken the order sheet from Superstore and I will build three different charts, a heat map and two bar charts. And what I would like to see is my best performing day of the week, my best performing month, and a combination of both. So let's start by building a heat map. To build my heat map, I'm going to take order date, I'm going to right click onto it, drag it onto the column, and then I want to see my month, click on OK, and then I'm going to take order date again, drag it onto rows, and there I want to see my weekday, and click OK. And now I can compare my month to my weekdays. I'm going to change my view from standard to untidy, so it fills up the entire screen. And because I'm interested into my cells, I'm going to drag cells from my data pane onto column. And that's my heat map. I'm going to rename it so it's easier for us to see later on. And then go on to creating my second chart, which is going to be a bar chart. And I want to see my month, or the cells, the monthly cells. Let's take order date, put it onto columns, and create a month. Take cells, and put it onto rows. By default, Tableau gives me uh, a line chart, but I'm going to change it to a bar chart under the marks card. I'm going to color this as well by cells to keep, in, uh, to keep, it, to keep the consistency with my heat map. And I'm going to change the color uh, to a teal shade instead, instead of this blue. There we go. Rename this. It's going to be my month. And then create my third chart. Dragging all the date. This time I'm going to put it onto rows, put it to weekday, drag cells onto column, and change this again from a line chart to a bar chart. Color it uh, by cells. Change the colour to this teal colour instead and make it entire view and rename it. I'm going to call it day and then I'm going to go straight into building my dashboard. I'll do all the formatting directly into my dashboard because to be able to actually create this marginal histogram we need to put all three sheets together onto a single dashboard. I'm going to start by dragging two vertical containers next to each other onto my canvas. So they're not within each other, next to each other. Within the first one, I'm going to drag my heat map first. And on top of my heat map, I'm going to drag a, a um, horizontal container where I'm going to put uh, my month bar chart as well as a blank space. This blank space is going to allow me to then um, make sure my bar chart is aligned with my heat map. And to the right hand side, I'm going to put my day bar chart and put a blank on top of it again so I can resize it and align it with my heat map. And then I'm going to uh, remove my color legend. So at the moment, it's a bit messy, but as we start formatting it, it's going to actually start taking shape. So first of all, I'm going to remove the titles for all of my different charts. There we go. And then I'm going to remove um, the axis headers for all of my different bar charts, for both of my bar charts. So both axes because we're going to have that piece of information directly from our heat map. I'm going to get rid as well of the field labels for the columns and the rows of the heat map. And I'm going to start resizing and see what size would be best for the chart as a whole. I think that's about, that's about right. And now my, um, my legend or my axis uh, for my heat map is truncated, so I can't read the full month name or the full weekday sometimes. So I'm going to actually make it the abbreviation. Let's go to format, 
and abbreviate our months and our days as well. There we go. Easier for us to read. And then I'm going to remove the um, lines onto my bar charts, so the grid lines. Let's remove our grid lines, set it to on and off, essentially. I'm going to remove that as well, the axis rulers. Do the same for my second bar chart. Remove the axis rulers as well. And into my heat map, I'm going to remove the header of my row divider. I'm going to add a title to this dashboard. So I'm going to add the text at the top. I'm going to call this my daily and monthly sales performance comparison. Make this a little bit bigger. Let's go for bold, might as well and resize it so it doesn't take the whole space and then I can resize all three of my charts so that they all align together so I'm going to resize the month so it's aligned with each month so you can see that January is aligned with January into my heat map and I'm going to do the same for my days my weekdays just a smidge under just a little bit more there we go. That's about right. So you can see now Monday is aligned with my bar chart and my heat map. So this is my histogram and this is a marginal histogram. Sorry, actually. What this is um, telling us is that across all of my months in terms of sales, November is my best performing month. Um, and across all of my weekdays, Monday, just by a little small margin is my best performing day but actually if I want to combine both my month and my uh, weekdays Mondays in December are actually my best performing day days overall thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this video you'll really like the how to build a sound key by my colleague Brandon click the link on the screen to watch it next